I was literally trapped in my crush's locker. Okay, I know this sounds crazy, and I know the title sounds unrealistic, but let's be real here. Half of the stories I tell on here are unrealistic, but God knows I live through them, and they are insane. So before I do get into this story, though, I just want to quickly mention you guys, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, because seriously, it means a lot when you guys do. And on top of that, did I mention that I'm currently live on Twitch as we speak? I'm literally live right now. And on top of that, did I also mention that my Fortnite girlfriend and I are making in real life content on the Bubba channel? Yeah, I highly advise you guys go check that out because seriously, that channel is going crazy. Basically, we're making these stories come to life. Literally to life. Anyways, without further ado though, let's get straight into this crazy, insane story. Yo, what is going on you guys? My name is Bubba and welcome back to another crazy story. So today's story takes place back when I was in actually middle school, funny enough. I know I've said a lot of high school stories this week, but I, I do want to tell one about middle school because middle school was like core me. It was the helpless romantic Bubba and it was like, well, a whole different era of, you know, internet time, let's just say. So I remember back when I was in middle school, I had one favorite book series that I loved to death and it was called Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Now in Diary of a Wimpy Kid, basically long story short, it's about a guy named Greg Heffley trying to survive middle school, blah, blah, blah. I think we all know of it somewhat. It's one of the more relatable middle school stories ever. And I remember how in Diary of a Wimpy Kid, he had a middle school crush as well. And I remember basically one thing that me and Greg in the story really bonded over was that middle school was crazy. And basically I remember my middle school crush, I had a massive crush on. She was outstanding. She was amazing. And she basically saw me as a loser. Yes. She, she knew who I was in middle school, but she saw me more as a loser. Cause well, I'm not going to lie. All I did was sit at home, play black ops two. And uh, well, that's basically it. I wasn't known for the cool Justin Bieber haircut that everyone had. I wasn't known for being rich in any way, nor did I play hockey or lacrosse or any of those cool man sports. I was just a basic kid who played video games. Now I know in this generation, every person plays video games. Like it's considered cool to play video games nowadays, which blows my mind. Back when I was in middle school, it wasn't. Anyways, going on though, I remember one thing I really wanted to do was one time ask her out. And me asking a girl out, especially in my state and time, like guys, I didn't look the greatest back in middle school. It was difficult. It was very difficult to even have the balls to walk up to her. So I remember what I ended up doing was basically planning a really romantic gesture. Sure, we'll call it that. A romantic gesture. Basically, I had an idea where it was plan ultimate ass girl out and not be creepy at all. Now, remember that plan because you guys will understand why I ended up being the total opposite of what it was supposed to be called, but it is what it is. Anyways, going on though, I remember I went up to my crush's friend and I said, hey, like, I really want to ask your friend out. I just don't know what to do. Can you please like help me and like give me opinions? She ends up looking at me. She's like, uh, yeah, sure. Just like go up to her and like just ask her out. Don't be weird. Yeah, that wasn't happening. You think I have the balls to go do that? Are you serious right now? Yeah, no, not gonna happen. So I remember what I ended up doing was I ended up basically planning this theme where I was gonna go to her locker because our lockers were right beside each other. Funny enough, I actually made sure our lockers were right beside each other in the beginning of the school year. And basically how that went was I was literally beside her, kind of walking with her as she was choosing a locker. And right as she chose a locker, I basically slammed my lock on the one right beside it. Cringy, I know, but I mean, when you're desperate, you gotta do what you gotta do. Reminder, I was in middle school, okay? Desperate times were, well, basically anything that had to do with my feelings. So going on though, I remember basically my locker was right beside hers and I remember I walked up to her and basically every time I would walk up to her, I go straight to my locker to kind of avoid being awkward. And I basically was watching her put her locker combination right beside me and I saw basically her locker combination. I wrote it down on my hand with my Sharpie that I had in my backpack and now I had full access to my crush's locker. Now you guys are probably wondering what the heck are you doing with that? Well, I can explain to a certain extent. You see, I remember that day I ended up going to 7 11. If you guys don't know, that's like a basic convenience store. And basically, I ended up picking up a bunch of candy. I got a bunch of candy from O. Henry bars to Kit Kats to Hershey's white chocolate. Like, I got it all. And I remember I put it in a little goodie bag and basically got a rose. And basically, my plan was to put it in her locker. Now, this is where things get really difficult. I remember the next day of school, it was lunchtime. And during lunch, I remember I went into her locker and I started putting the combination down. But right as I opened her locker fully, I see her walking down the hallway with her group of friends on the way back to her locker. I was panicking. I was freaking out. I'm like, oh no, she's literally going to see me here with her locker open. I'm going to get exposed. So what was my initial plan? Well, originally some people would think it was just to be locking it again and pretend it never happened, but nope, not for me. I ended up actually going into her locker, shoving myself in there and literally closing the locker. Now you guys are probably wondering how the hell did you put the lock on? Well, luckily enough, my friend was right beside me at the time, helping me with this special mission and he locked the locker on me. Yeah, I didn't expect him to do that, but he ended up doing that. He literally locked the locker when I was inside of 
of it. Are you serious right now? That was my first thought. And I remember I was panicking. I'm like, dude, I'm literally stuck in my crush's locker. It smells nice in here, but I'm gonna die. Yeah, I had no idea what to do at that moment. I was panicking. I was freaking out. And I'm not gonna lie. I think I was losing oxygen. I'm not gonna lie. I think I was going psychotic in there. But basically, I remember my crush was walking through and I remember I was looking through the locker slits to see where she was. And basically, funny enough, she didn't even enter the locker. She went into a different classroom. She didn't even go inside her locker. And I was like, what? Are you serious? She didn't even go inside the locker? What? I was so confused. And then I remember when I was looking around her locker, there was nothing there. There was literally nothing. There, there, there was no backpack. There was, there was no jacket. There was not even textbook. So that came to my mind and I'm like, oh wait, she definitely, and I mean definitely, was getting ready to go home early. Because one thing I forgot was that she had a doctor's appointment. Man, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I was so dumb back in that day. So what I did was, was I got my phone out and my phone was almost dead. I think it was because I was watching Jacksepticeye throughout the entire school year, sitting on my phone for like 20 minutes watching Jacksepticeye. And knowing me back when I had a phone, it was a really garbage phone. It had like this battery drain issue. I don't know. So what I did was I was sitting in there panicking, freaking out, same old, same old. And my phone died. So I had no phone. The locker was empty. And basically the school day was going to end. I ended up missing two of my classes. And my teacher thought I was missing for some reason. I don't know. Technically I was, but going on, I remember what ended up happening was that I was sitting in there waiting, being patient and hoping something would happen. And something did happen. Her friend ended up coming out of the classroom and going to her locker. And she basically unlocked her locker because she, I guess girls just share locker combinations just like that. I don't know. And when she opened the locker, I came out of it gasping for air going, oh my God. <gasps> and I remember her scream of her yelling and freaking out was insane. She was literally like, oh my goodness, like, what are you doing in there? Like, Bubba, are you serious? What was that, a prank? Yeah, I was sweating like Godzilla. Like, I was crying, dude. I did not want to be in there anymore. And I remember I told her, uh, basic, I was, um, uh. And when she looked at what was inside the like, goodie bag I had, she saw melted chocolate and a dead rose. Yeah, who knew? Roses needed oxygen like humans. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it for today's story. Honestly, my opinion, don't ever go into your crush's locker. And before you guys say anything, what happened to my crush? Well, she never ended up finding out. I luckily paid her five bucks of my lunch money to keep her friend quiet. Anyways, guys, that is basically it for today's story. So make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And on top of that, did I mention that I am currently live on Twitch? Once again, go check it out. Links in the description down below. And like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. All right, peace out, guys. Also, follow my Instagram. Bravo. All these people